and what better way to start off another vlog is with another beautiful sunrise. This is just outside Rugby, uh, just before Hillmorton Locks. Now I'm still on my way out to Gate and Junction, Mrs Lumsden is going to join me there and I just didn't want to waste this bit of footage really. So just enjoy this for a few moments and then as if by magic I'll appear at Gate and Junction. And here we are in Gate and Junction and the next shot you see is the day after, after 12 locks of the Northampton flood. Northampton Arm. Now I just reached the bottom where the M1 comes across, so I've just come down 12 locks by torturous good start to the day. But there's all sorts of artwork down in this tunnel, so I've decided to jump off the boat and just do a bit of a video of this while the whilst I can. It's on both sides. Uh, the 1998 floods, the guild hall was built, the great fire of Northampton. Who knew? Who knew? I knew it was boot and shoe making. What's the side of this side? Oh, yeah, okay. All oh, white and trees. I mean, oh, there's a little boat. There's a little boat there. Look, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. We also got a very battle of Northampton, All Saints Church. This is Lumsden, she predates most of the, most of what you see on that wall thing. Yeah, Where's the first one? 1086 Northampton Castle. Nearly as old as Mrs. Lumsden. So in that direction, we're heading for the Neen. We're going only as far as Wellingborough, I believe, and then turning around and coming back. Here comes the love of my life. It's a boat called We May, and there's also Mrs. Lumsden steering it. Don't know how she thinks I'm going to jump across that gap. But I tell you what, it's good to have her back. I've been on my own for a few videos now. It's not the same. It's not the same. Hello, gorgeous. How am I going to get across there? This is cheeky. This is like I've got to go and close the gates. What's that all about? I'm the captain. Since when did she give the orders? Now this section of the canal was incredibly clear. This first bit, a little bit murky because I'd only just switched the prop off. And as you can see, as usual, my prop not looking terribly clear bit of a task there but there's some incredible underwater footage on this video give it a chance and watch some of the other stuff some really lovely stuff now this is clearer some beautiful perch in this shot. Look at those, the fins on the perch. There's a bit of scaffolding pole just there. But perch, they're a predator fish. They're shoaling, swimming around. These are only small. These are probably five or six inches. Beautiful fish, beautiful back dorsal fin there. And then lots of roach knocking about. Again, three or four inches, smallish stuff. But I'm looking for pike, I'm dying to see a pike. And here we see the long-legged boatfish, often seen around these parts. Some nice shots here of some feeding swans. So we met our friends, 
these are on daybreak there's mrs lovers in front looking gorgeous look she's let her hair down and everything as she's showing off that is because she's got some friends so this is the beautiful daybreak we've had holidays on daybreak for the last four years mary say hello to all of my subscribers hello. that's mary she's the old lady who owns this boat <laughs> Rude. 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 Where's Ian? That's Ian the Scotsman. Hello. There's Ian. Now Ian plays a mean guitar and I dare say there's going to be a spot of busking going on. Ain't that right? right, yes. That's right. right. So this is Mrs Lumsden in her... In her happy face. In the natural... This is the natural Mrs Lumsden. This is... Uh, this is the happiest you'll see her. No, I'm always <laughs> happy to see you. Drinking a Prosecco, don't you know? <laughs> you see, Mary's a friend of Mrs. Lumsden, and uh, as you know, Mrs. Lumsden's a bit of an old lush, and uh, you, you often find Mary sat on locks with a bottle, like that, because she's from uh, Mrs. Lumsden's old lush gang. There she is, look. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, there you are, look. Oh, all right, sorry. Young Lush. Okay. Young. Young. Distant friends. I said that's even worse than me calling you colleagues, and we know how you never forgot that one. Distant friends. Distant friends? Yeah. You refer to Mary and Ian as our distant friends. I thought you meant as in you did not Yes, I did. No, you so didn't. You meant as in, like, they're not our close friends. Anyway, cut. Let's have a look under daybreak. Oh, Ian's looking after that propeller better than I look after mine. And thrust now. So here I am on the bow of daybreak. It's my first opportunity to film underwater from the bow whilst the boat's moving. I find it incredible watching how many fish are actually scattering out of the way. You don't realize that this is happening all the time whilst you're running on a boat. I'm still looking for that elusive pike though. And just look at all that vegetation. It's no wonder our propellers are always fouled up. You know why it's called a weed hatch now. And at last I've spotted my pike. Just look at the beautiful colours on this fish. It's like a freshwater tiger, the apex predator. It's about a foot and a half to two foot long, probably weighs about three pounds. And no sooner have you seen one pike, you come across another one. This one just going out of shot. This was only about 12 inches long, a smaller one. Just catch it thrashing there on the surface. And there you see a still of it just in the distance as we went away. You can certainly understand why the pike population is thriving in this water. There is such a massive population of roach. It's incredible how clear this water is.
all of a sudden the ladies were shouting at me to come and record something. I had no idea what they were talking about. But as it transpired, it was a beautiful shot of a lovely twirl of water, like a little mini tornado, as I'd opened one of the paddles and the water was going through into the lock. Then made another discovery. Look at this boy. <laughs> it's virtually new. Just sat there at the bottom, just on the entrance to the lock. Suffice to say, I did pull it out and leave it up on the towpath. Hopefully, somebody's found it. There's no stopping me with these GoPros, you know. Here's a lovely shot of some water just coming over one of the spillways. That's arty, isn't it? And I wanted to try and get a shot of daybreak coming into the lock. So there again, there's the bike. And daybreak is now coming above me. I get a little bit scared because I think she's going to crush the GoPro against the canal wall. <laughs> a little bit close there. But I do want to try and spot the propeller actually turning as she goes into the lock. So that's the end of this vlog. We do indeed get to Northampton by evening. We have a lovely night there. And then two smashing days down on the Nen. But that's for another vlog. Bye for now. <laughs>